Hey guys and welcome to BH Live. My name is Brendan Hansford and I'm a choreographer, director and now presenter here in Dubai. And this is my weekly podcast and the aim is to interview some of the most amazing entrepreneurs, artists, business people, so many people here that have got an amazing story. I want to get them on the show and get them talking about it. Now every week we host this live at Super Madinette in Dubai. I think I said that right. And now we're actually going to go live on Facebook. So if you're watching this late, every Thursday, 5.30, we're going to go live. <laughs> There's noises in the background, it's fine. But this week, I've got an incredible guest called Be uh, Peter Barlow, who is the principal of Sharjah Performing Arts, which is one of the only academies of its type in the MENA region. Uh, it, it is the only. It one. is the only yeah, type. It's the <laughs> okay. only. It's, it's so unique tell everybody in this area. your name, what you do, yeah. where you come from. Okay. Uh, my name is Peter Barlow, uh, and I'm the executive director of Sharjah Performing Arts Academy in Sharjah, which is in the United Arab Emirates, right next door to Dubai. Uh, and um, I started out as, a, as an actor. Mm -hmm. That's a, a long, long time ago, before you we were born, <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> yeah. before yeah. I was born. <laughs> uh, so I went to drama school way back in the um, late 70s, early mm -hmm. 80s. I went to Rose Bruford College, which nice. was uh, um, you know, a prestigious drama school. Very good drama in, school. Uh, just outside London. Um, in fact, Gary Oldman was in the year above no me. Way. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, we still got contact with him. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was my way in. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, no. And so, no, as an actor, um, what 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 sort of things did so, you do? Oh, um, yeah, I would. Uh, well, when I left drama school, I I worked in theatre and education as a performer. In fact, the very first job I had, mm. we we created our own professional company. Um, touring schools in a VW bus. Of course. You know, of course. What, what else, else did you do it in? You know, so there were six of us and we yeah. were called stupidly Platform Six. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we chose that. I can't remember. But we used to go around all the, the, the schools in London yeah. um, doing shows and, and kind of doing theatre and education. A baptism of fire for any actor yeah. who has to perform in front of disinterested <laughs> uninterested kids who couldn't care less. Yeah, I've been and there and thought, done it. You know, <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was fun. And then I did a variety of jobs doing mm. commercials and, um, uh, you know, a bit of TV, a mm. bit of West End theatre, that kind of thing. I love so how you play it down, you know, a bit of know, West End well, theatre, like it was just nothing. Kind of, it was just kind of odds and sods for yeah. about three years. Of, okay. Um, just working as a jobbing actor yeah um, I was I was very lucky I didn't really have that many gaps oh, that's nice which was really nice yeah which was good um, and then I started working as a as a, I was the kind of person that would you know if somebody asked me to do something I would do mm. it so I ended up going up to Liverpool to work with kids unprivileged kids in um oh, wow. in a in Halewood where there was kind of okay you know at the time, of course, in the 70s in the UK, mass unemployment. So yep. there was, um, you know, the, ki the kids were like the feral dogs on the streets. You know, I there mean, were kind of packs yeah. of kids and packs of dogs wandering around. And we were kind of, and we were trying to teach them drama. Trying to teach them how to act. Teach them how to lie better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but again, that was kind mm. of exciting work. And whilst I was there, I worked at Liverpool Playhouse and. Uh, mm. And yeah, it was just, it was, that was good. And that got me into directing, I think, and yeah. teaching. I was going to say so that, I started, obviously, I, I know yeah. the kind of rest of your story already. Yeah. But we're going to go into it. But do you feel like that had a strong influence over where you got to today? Like, going all the way back to then? Like, was it a, a spark in you? And, oh, I love doing this. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I think so. And I think, uh, I think once I started directing, I realized that I actually preferred that. Mm. Than, um, than acting. Okay. So I, I preferred being on the other side than being on the stage. Yeah. But I think that's probably because um, one of the things I did, I can remember being on the stage and thinking, this is the most awful thing I've ever been in, and having to sit on my hands and hang on to the chair yeah. so I didn't get up and leave. You know? <laughs> Can you imagine that live yeah. performance? Yeah. Oh, I'm uh, not doing this anymore. I'm done. I want to get out of here right <laughs> just now. Gonna walk off. Just, just yeah. one more hour. One more yeah. hour. Yeah. So, how so did you I end up then uh, transferring from being an actor to getting into directing? Uh, uh, 
do you know? I don't know. I think it's probably... <laughs> story start you know, that way. I think it's probably just because somebody asked me to direct something and I said, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Um, I'm quite happy doing that. Uh, and, and also I was kind of... I was always looking for work. Yeah. If, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. You know, I don't, I, I don't want to not be working. Yeah. So I didn't, I never had, and I know some people do have this kind of single-minded approach where mm. they go, you know, One I want to be an actor that's it, yeah. and that's all I'm going to do and yeah. I'm going to not compromise. And actually, in, if you think about it, the people who do that tend to be extremely successful. Yeah. You know, because they've got that kind of, that single-minded laser focus drive. On yeah. I don't think I ever had that. I'm too much of a kind of, yeah. Collector. I get it. I get <laughs> eclectic, it. <laughs> you know, eclectic sort of, you know, yeah. trying to do lots of different things. It's always a pain, right? So when someone like, asks you, so what do you do? And you're like, choreographer, director, yeah. teacher, photographer, videographer. <laughs> exactly. And you just read that off, you're like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. Don't know. I'll so try I get it. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 I can learn. Why it. not? Yeah. I still remember there's a job once, if someone phoned me up, and um, I hope they're not watching. <laughs> they were like, do you know how to do Kaylee dancing? And I went, yeah. 100% know how to do it. I spent the week watching YouTube videos, learning how to do it just for that job. Yeah. And the irony was I got on the job and they were all professional dancers in that style. So I could have just gone something like that across the floor and they probably would have done it. Yeah. So you know when you do that, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. So gotta get that work, gotta get that job. Absolutely. No, so absolutely. tell us about the work you did as a director. Um, so, uh, uh, I worked for a company called Common Stock, um, directing, again, back in London, directing yeah. shows, um, uh, community theatre shows, really, mm. uh, for them. I, I worked for a dance mime company mm. called Gambling Geysers, nice. and, um, we, and they toured all over the country, mm. so um, working in lots of different theatres, but with a very particular mm. physical theatre style. So I worked for them. I was artistic director of an art centre in Portsmouth, yeah. where um, and a and a theatre company where we would tour shows into mm. London. Um, so yeah, so a kind yeah. of wide range of things. Actually, and it was it was doing that, those kind of jobs that I suppose where I started to get into the kind of the administration yeah. or the organizational yeah. and the, the kind of the vision the strategic mm. aspects of uh, the work I do now I yeah. guess you know and then after from that that's when I started getting asked to go into drama schools right. to teach acting mm. but also in the initial um, the, the initial thing is that most of the drama schools in London or, or in the UK, mm. use freelance professional directors to direct their shows. Cool. So the first time I went into a drama school was to direct a show for that particular drama school. Yeah. What and then the it show? sort of went, don't, no, I can't remember. <laughs> um, Put you on the spot Oh, now. yeah, you did now. Um, it, I think it was Road by Jim Cartwright. Okay. Certainly, mm. that was one of the very early shows I did. Yeah, got it. Okay. So <laughs> got you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm talking a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. But so um, th that was, yeah, that was uh, um, one of the first things. And then I, as a result of that, I actually really enjoyed working with student actors mm. and realizing that, you know, when you direct professionally 80% of the job is the casting getting yeah. the right people um, mm. uh, and and you have you have actors who, who are coming in with um, shed loads of experience yeah. and you're working with them and they know what to do yeah. they know how to do yeah. it and so your kind of role as a director is really just bringing all those elements together yeah. okay. uh, whereas when you're directing in drama school or when you're working with drama school yeah. students actually you, you your input is far mm. greater because actually what they're doing is learning their craft. Yeah, sucking um, it up and with the Yeah, and, and actually beginning that process of understanding what it is you do mm. as an actor in mm. order to be able to convince an audience that you are who you yeah. say you are and you're in the circumstances that you say you're yeah. in, you know? So, yeah, so Incredible. that's that's when I started mm. getting the bug, if you like, for teaching. Yeah. And and the rest is history. No, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm done. I'm done. Right. See you later. <laughs> yeah.
Um, but you, you've worked all over the world, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. Because I remember some... you said to me, Korea, America. Uh, uh, I've, uh, and was that yeah. as a director or educator? No, as an educator, I've worked in, I, I went to a thing called the Theatre Olympics. Okay. Can you believe it? I was invited to this kind of thing called this, this event called mm. Theatre Olympics, where um, basically it was in Seoul and they set up this whole kind of program of events. Yeah. And I went there to talk about drama schools okay. and uh, how you teach actors. Mm. Um, it, was an extraordinary, it was a fantastic event because they brought companies from all around the world. Mm. From, America, Tadashi Suzuki was there, so I was on the same stand as him. Yeah. Robert nice. Wilson, Robert yeah. Wilson from America is a sort of well-known kind of um, avant-garde actor yeah. who does the most amazing kind of um, experiential theater yeah. shows. Um, it's a whole variety mm. of people that, that I was working with there. Um, been to Beijing. Yeah, uh, nice. I taught in Oslo quite quite a lot. So wow. I worked with a, a company in Oslo, and in fact, I directed two shows there in Norwegian. Mm. That's an experience. I was about to say, how did yeah. you deal with that? That's good. Well, uh, to, to be fair, it was Spring Awakening yeah. and Nine. Of, and of yeah. course, I know both of them as. as you, well. uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, know both the musicals in English, yeah. so it was a question of just making sure that the <laughs> translation um, in the right kind place. of yeah, yeah. Uh, made some sense. But we did we did both of those shows and they were performed in Norwegian. Mm. Um, I've worked in Italy, in um, in Bologna. Mm. Uh, and again, same thing. Actually yeah. directing I uh, directed Romeo and Juliet, which was actually then Amazing. translated yeah. into into Italian. So, wow. Yeah. So you've been requested by a lot of people yeah. from around the world. And uh, 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 United States. Yeah. So Santa Monica, Tampa Bay, New York. Wow. So And what was your what was your favorite show to work on? Oh gosh. <laughs> I I think I have to start yeah. with favorite musical which okay. is West Side Story hey. and I can't wait to see Spielberg's new yeah. version of it I was literally about to say yeah that. I mean it's kind of it's coming and, yeah uh, I wonder what I he's going to do well yeah because <laughs> it's yeah. not going to be have what we seen the expect. trailer have you seen the I trailer no. Oh, no I just heard it was have, coming must, must watch the oh, trailer it's kind of it's quite yeah. exciting and where was so, that yeah. in the world so that West Side Story was when I was um, principal director at Guildford School of Acting. Amazing. Yeah. So you and it was great. And we did that in the local theatre. Mm. We did that in the Yvonne Arno. And yeah. it was just, yeah. It was Incredible. my kind of, it was my last show there yeah. as well. So it's got, yeah. it's got really, I've got nice. really fond memories of doing that. And what, what um, sort of educational establishments have you worked at up till now that are kind of, that you were in a higher role for? Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. Guildford School of Acting. Yeah. Um, Academy of Live and Recorded mm. Arts, um, Lane Theatre Arts. All um, extremely so big yeah. schools. Yeah. If you're not from the UK, <laughs> look them up because they're the biggest in, in the UK. So give us your top three highlights of your career. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be your favourite show. Oh. It can be the ones that give you the biggest credit. It can be the ones you just enjoyed the most. But yeah, top three in order, just to oh, make it harder. No. That's a really <laughs> that's a, that's a painful question. Um, do you know the the top highlight? Mm. I think was coming here and meeting me. And meeting you, of course. <laughs> sitting in this booth, no, yeah. the, the, was was actually coming here and arriving and yeah. seeing the empty space or the or the the concrete shell mm. of this extraordinary um, Sharjah Performing Arts yeah. Academy, and seeing that building right from the beginning where. You know, I walked in and it's all a hard hat mm, sign, and wow. you're just walking around and going, "Wow! Yeah, look at the space here. Yeah, look at the amazing facilities mm. that are possible." And being involved right at the beginning of that, and being able to say, "No, you can't just build a stage without an orchestra pit." Yeah, <laughs> and then them saying, "Okay, well, we'll build build you an orchestra pit, but not only will we do that, but we'll make it hydraulic, so it's in the front of the stage and it goes up and down." So literally, yeah. so you know, so things like that. So yeah. actually, we need a gym. Yeah. 
Uh, and them going, yeah, okay. Okay, we can fit that here. We can make a gym <laughs> We'll just there. put the yeah. gym in. Yeah. Gym in. <laughs> and sort of, so in terms of wow. highlights, this has, yeah. been, this has been such an exciting project to yeah. build a kind of a, a theatre, mm. uh, a, a theatre school, yeah. a, a performing arts academy, academy yeah. from, from nothing. Yeah. And, that's uh, and, nuts. and being on my own yeah. and arriving here and going, <laughs> what the hell? What do I do? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you know, I know how yeah. to run organisations, yeah. but um, I, I think probably for most people this yeah. would be a unique experience of going. I've got to start mm. from from scratch here. I've got to build a team. Well, I've got to have the I know from when you invited me to see the academy, I spent the whole time doing this. My mouth dropped the floor, going, "What is this place?" Absolutely incredible place. So you've done a good job to help them get to that. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I guess my, you know, in some ways my highlights are, sound like building projects. That's no, fine. But, <laughs> it works. but also taking when I when I first arrived mm. at Guildford School of Acting, um, they were working in eight different sites mm. across the whole of this Guildford town. Yeah. Um, so students would be running from one mm. venue to another, or would be a church hall at the top uh, of the high street yeah. yeah you'd imagine yeah. That, uh, and in some ways you know that's kind of exciting for mm. students and it was great and it gave us good exposure in yeah. the town but actually the the, the school mm. needed a permanent site yeah so before i left guildford that was the thing that i think i was most proud of there yeah was again being involved in the design and the creation of a brand right. new of wow. a brand new school for them and yeah. a brand new art center okay so yeah amazing so that was that was exciting. Alongside, I think, alongside that, mm. when I see graduates, when I see people that I've taught, when I see mm. your them work succeeding, being well, yeah. absolutely, I guess yeah. it's sort of, you know, you go, that's an endorsement, that's yeah. fantastic. That's you, your credits. Yeah. yeah. So, so my credits are when somebody wins uh, uh, an Olivier Award. You yeah. kind of go, yeah, well, I taught that yeah. student. Okay, know. amazing. Um, so, so, why now yeah. and why Sharjah? So, obviously, normally that question is why Dubai, <laughs> but you're from Sharjah. So, for the people who don't know what Sharjah is, maybe give them a quick Okay, sort of so introduction. Sharjah is uh, an emirate that is north of Dubai. Yeah. It's the third largest emirate mm. in the United Arab Emirates. Yeah. Uh, Abu Dhabi is the largest, and yeah. then Dubai and then Sharjah. And actually, it kind of works that it goes dun, south dun, dun, yeah. to north, you yeah. know, as you go up the country. Um, Sharjah is known as the kind of the cultural capital of the, okay. the Middle East. Um, yeah. Because w whilst uh, Dubai sort of has that kind of tourist yeah. and is, is you know, a really exciting, vibrant city, yes. cosmopolitan yeah. place to be, Sharjah is the... the, the, the government of Sharjah and particularly His Highness the ruler mm. of Sharjah yeah. have concentrated on the kind of the culture yeah. and education and mm. where the academy is as you've seen yeah. we're in a, t a place called University City which has um, nearly 40,000 students yeah. uh, on, on this incredible campus wow. which is um, and the architecture is all classical style mm. but the technology inside is kind of you know crazy yeah 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 um, and Sharjah is a beautiful city and it's yeah. if to get to our academy is to put it in context geographical we're about 10 to 15 minutes from mm. Dubai Airport yeah so you're actually kind of closer than so yeah <laughs> so we're closer than Dubai where we are now yeah, you know? yeah. So, um, and, and certainly if you're going down to Expo, don't go to Dubai Airport it's too far away yeah <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> but um, so yes, yeah, so we're kind of we're mm. we're really close. It's um, it's a beautiful city actually. Yeah, um, and it you've really seen, is. Yeah, I've, you've done I've, I've, I've some done live the recce, footage I've now. Done the yeah. footage. I've seen it some on many amazing occasions. places, but yeah. also some amazing cultural places like the House of Wisdom, which yeah. they just built, which is yeah. this extraordinary library. Yeah, um, it's like something out yeah. of a space age. Movie. It does, doesn't it's it? It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they've got the heart of Sharjah, which is a more traditional, mm. but still houses some of the most contemporary art galleries yeah. in the whole of the UAE. Yeah. 
So for the people that don't know, I've been working with Peter as a director to help them create some commercials to promote their academy. So just to put context in yes, there, so people context. aren't going, how yeah. does he know so much? <laughs> um, so how did you end up here? You know, how did you uh, get okay. the job to do what so, you're doing now? Um, interesting kind of train of events is that um, the uh, the chairman or the ex-chairman of Guildford School of Acting mm. told me this job was going mm. um, and I sort of made initial inquiries and then I was invited out here mm. by his highness to oh, go wow. and meet him uh, and that happened in December yeah. and he said yes he would like me to set up the academy yeah so when you met him, was this like a dinner? Was this oh, no, no. We, I went to his it? palace. Of course you did. Yeah. Standard thing, you know. Yeah. Just pop round so, to the palace, say hey. Yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> yeah. How, so. how did, like, don't say too much, obviously. But how did that go? And how were you feeling? In awe, really. really? And also because he is such an intelligent mm. man. And so well read. Um, his, you know... He writes history books, he writes plays, wow. he's, a, he's a true man of the theatre. Mm. Um, uh, he supports so many mm. festivals and events, wow. theatrical events, yeah. not just in Sharjah, but also around this region, around the Arab world. Incredible. Um, his influence yeah. is, is extraordinary, and he's got really strong connections mm. with some universities in, um, in the UK. Mm. He's earned three PhDs. Of course. As you do. As you do, you, you know. know. And he has, an, you know, uh, I, I can't remember how many, but it's well into the 20s, 30s, maybe even more than that. Mm. Um, honorary doctorates. Yeah. That have been yeah. Uh, awarded to him because he is such a kind of influencer on education. Mm. And I just have tremendous admiration mm. for him. And this. And, and the academy is his vision, is his idea. That was literally my next so question, is what is his aim behind creating this academy? To bring people together, to mm. have an international environment which improve, you know, which, which um, hopefully improves uh, the professional performing arts, yeah. uh, that creates entrepreneurial uh, students who will go out into their own countries, but oh, also yes. stay yeah. in the Emirates and create and create work yeah. um, to, uh, um, you know, to, to, to give also, I think it's about giving mm. students the opportunity to yeah. have a conservatoire style education. Okay. And I think that was, that, yeah. that, you know, that was an important uh, aspect of it for him because he gives people from the Arab world full scholarships. Yeah. Tell so us more if about you are, that. okay, well, if <laughs> so, you're if you're f from the Arab world and you get a place at the academy, yeah, um, then your education is paid for and your accommodation is paid for. Wow, you don't even get that in England. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No, it's extraordinary and it's extraordinarily yeah. generous. Yeah, um, of him to to provide that mm. opportunity for people from not just from mm. the United Arab Emirates, but from, from all whole over of, the Arab yeah. world. Yeah. Now, the, that was the other thing I had to do was a kind of feasibility. Mm. You know, what's a what's a kind of Westerner doing in right in charge yep. <laughs> running a professional performing arts academy yeah. where the programs are taught in English and yeah. all of those things? Well, the expertise for performing arts education uh, um, comes from the Western world. Yeah, and I, I don't mean to be arrogant. Saying that, no, but it just I don't that's think many just people would disagree with you. A fact, yeah. Um, and bringing that expertise into yeah. this environment and allowing mm. um, interested, committed yeah. uh, students to have access to that okay. is a fantastic yeah. uh, uh, opportunity, yeah. You know, and uh, a great, great vision on on. A part of sinus. Okay, and um, what type of courses do you have? So we've got BA, uh, so we've got undergraduate programs yeah. which are um, fully accredited yeah. um, and we are a licensed higher education yeah. institute um, in musical theatre, acting, and production arts. Yeah. And production arts is everything that happens yeah. in theatre backstage yeah. or in recorded arts, 
you know, yeah. behind the camera. Yeah. And is there anything else new coming? Any new courses? Well, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. Um, so we are, um, and and we've launched it today. We are I know, International very Dance excited. Day. Yeah. Woo. Really yeah. excited to be able to tell people that in September we will have a three-year dance diploma at the academy. Perfect. Where um, we're working with um, a, a UK-based. Mm. Uh, validation agency yeah um, so that we will have a validated yeah. three-year diploma which will be internationally recognized, which will be right? internationally yeah. recognized which um, will allow students from the age of 16 nice to come and do a three-year course yeah and then maybe even go to the UK yeah and do a one-year top-up to get their BA in dance. yes yeah. amazing so it's pretty much very similar to stuff in the UK already. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, exactly that. And, and I hear, will, I hear the teachers to... that are going to be on that course are incredible. Oh, they are. Yes. Yeah, I wonder yeah. who that could be. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, I wonder I heard, who might be doing really, some really good. teaching with us. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So and we've got, go we've, you know, so um, Alex, who you know, yep. Alex Jessup. Alex Jessup, incredible guy. Um, West End performer, musical theatre, yeah. um, extraordinary um, mm. uh, performer is heading up the, that yep. course, that program. Very driven. Um, <laughs> in, incredible dance teacher yeah. as well. You know. And so we're, we're, again, we're trying mm. to bring in the best. Yeah. Bring in the best teachers yeah. into the Middle East. Wow. You know, there's a huge market here. Yeah. Uh, what an opportunity to also, be one of the first students to come yeah. onto this type of course, which is the first yeah. in the Mena region. And I have to say this, that if you live here and you are thinking of going to the UK to become or to do professional dance in the UK, you can now do it here mm. uh, and at half the cost yeah. with the same quality of teachers yeah. and, and even better facilities. <laughs> <laughs> I won't you know, disagree with you on that. I've seen know, them, so yeah, they're very absolutely. good. Absolutely, you can come and yeah. come and uh, um, do your three-year diploma in our palace. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's like a palace. That was literally yeah. running through my head. Yeah. So you, you have teachers literally from all around the world. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, Australia, Canada. Mm. Um, I don't think we we may be having somebody from USA in September. Nice. Very but, cool. Um, uh, England, Wales, yeah, um, Scotland, yeah. <laughs> Nobody from Ireland yet. No, no one from yeah. Ireland. Yeah. So we're, if we're there's anybody out there, you sure know, from Ireland, sure. we've yeah. got to get somebody in. Okay. Yeah. But just um, uh, Poland. Yeah. Actually, Zenon, who's one of our acting teachers, yeah. he is he's Polish, but he's worked in um, America most of his oh, so wow. work. Taught yeah. Some of the most amazing people. Yeah. yeah. You know, the teachers uh, do look then, incredible. And then Raman, who's from India. Yeah. Uh, um, Bollywood actor, you yeah. know. Uh, and what's it like working so. in a facility with so many different cultures? And obviously they've all been trained in very different ways. You know, yeah. is, it, is it a but that's really a chill environment or is there a lot of like banter? Is, hey, you know. It's a performing arts class. I know, this How is like it chilled. It's never chilled, <laughs> but like, does it run smoothly? Is yeah. there bumps in a row, but then lead to positive yeah. situations? Like Absolutely. what's it like working in that environment? But, it's fantastic because there's so much sharing mm. and that kind of cultural mix, mm. you know. Um, it's it, and and also it's a kind of finding that mutual respect yeah. for everybody and saying, uh, okay. So one of the things that I wanted right from the beginning yeah. was this idea that collaboration runs across yeah. everything that we do in the academy. No. Um, not just not just in terms of uh, you need to collaborate if you're making shows. Yeah, of course. Know. Yeah, it goes without saying. Yeah, but. Um, but you don't, you know. Sometimes you're collaborating, collaborating with people, and you think, actually, I don't really know what they do. Yeah. So what we've done is we've created this idea that as soon as students arrive at the academy, mm. they do a, a kind of a year when everybody does everything. Okay. So learn all yeah. about the other areas of perform of theatre. So if you're a production artist and yeah. you come, you have to you have to do a musical theatre class. Brilliant. Which Amazing. is kind of, you know, which for somebody who's never been on stage yeah. or whatever and they're asked to stand up and sing a song. You know, yeah, it's right. kind of like, whoa, oh hang on, God. that's not yeah. what I do. But yeah. actually understanding what the, the singer goes what, through. Yeah. What the singer goes through. Yeah. And, and, and then and the, the singer. Role. Yeah. Absolutely. Then the, the, the musical theatre uh, performer 
has to go and work in the paint shop yeah. or make a costume. Yeah. You know. Or make them work a, with sound and lighting, yes. which is the best idea in yes. the world. Yes. Because I know, I won't mention names, but I know performers that get frustrated with the sound and light. And you're like, do you realise what they have to do just to get to that one cue yeah. and get to that cue? Just to light you. Yeah. yeah. And like, <laughs> patience. So it's, it's a great idea because suddenly there's a greater understanding. So when you're on stage and you're doing your tech run, for example, you know, you're not there going, come on. You're going, oh, they're, they're, they're cool. they're, I, know, I know what they're doing. So I know what they do you have need to do. You know, I, I kind of yeah. know a little bit if you want me to help in any way. You know. And again, in my experience in drama schools in, in the, the UK, what happens is that the courses are all separate. Yeah. So they don't really meet each other no, until, until they start doing productions at the, yeah. end of their, at the end of their three yeah. years, when production students start working on shows that actors yeah. or musical theatre yeah. performers are doing. Yeah. And that's kind of, that's a bit crazy, yeah. really. And um, what's going to be my next question? What is your aim for the Academy? So you told us what the shake day means. What's, what about yours? Um, my vision for the Academy is to have an international academy, mm. professional performing arts academy, that turns out highly skilled individuals yeah. who can turn their hands mm. to being entrepreneurs if they wish yeah. to, um, but, being, but having the skills to be excellent performers. Yeah. Uh, but having a view on the world where, where they can, if they have the legal right to, mm. um, they, they can go anywhere. Yeah. They can work anywhere. Yeah. Um, I think, um, I think if, I, if, if I'm talking about a legacy, I yeah. want to leave an academy that is um, highly respected because of yeah. its um, innovative teaching methods, yeah. because it turns out extraordinary professionals Mm. Um, and because it's an exciting, vibrant mm. place to be, and it's part of the community. Yeah, well, I'm glad you said entrepreneur because I've, I've been drumming on for years. I even have a documentary out called Building a Dancer, and it's all about as a dancer, as a performer, you need to treat yourself as a business. You need to be an entrepreneur because it's the only way to get work these days. Absolutely. You know, it's not like 20 years ago where you could walk around with your CV and headshot, and that's it. <laughs> you show up to audition, and you might get the job, you might not. Now you have to be able to brand yourself. You have to be able to, you know, network. Hasn't that kind of hasn't that been absolutely driven home by what's happened in the last year? Oh my God! And do you know yeah. the, the funny thing about what's happened in the last year is you're going to see who are the people that didn't sit on their hands and watch Netflix all day. Yeah. The ones yeah. that are on the computer, absolutely. emailing, reaching out, contacting. I'm here in Dubai. <laughs> yeah. You know, and we met through an acquaintance and. It all exactly. connected through networking. I, yeah. I wouldn't be here. Yeah. You know, and you, I think you guys were one of my first meetings here. And I got to come and see the bit. I think that was first or second? I think it was on a second. Because I remember, I remember the first conversation, because I didn't know Dubai, so it was still very new. And I was like, guys, I looked at public transport, and it's like three hours away. <laughs> and you replied saying, are you in Abu Dhabi? I was like, no, I don't have a car. And I went, oh! Because yeah. I was trying to get around on public transport here. And now I have a car, <laughs> I understand that I will never be doing public transport again. Yeah. It's a difference between a 10 minute drive or an hour on public transport. Absolutely. Yeah. And obviously yeah. trying to get from Sharjah to Dubai. Having yeah. said that, you can get the, the most, you know, and it's, it's something that you can do if you're a tourist, you yeah. can actually get a bus from Dubai to Sharjah really? for 10 dirhams. Oh, of course. But yeah. a bit for in England, that's two pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Although that's about one tenth of a tank of petrol, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so cheap. It's amazing yeah. out here. Yeah. Right. What's, what's the next question? So, what would you say? Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go back a question. Is what is your kind of six month and five year goal for yourself and Charger Performing Arts? Uh, um, six month goal is to um, is, is to get the dance program up and running. Yes is to make sure that we recruit all of the new staff yeah. and get them inducted yeah. into the academy. Um, because that's, and get that's them used to the UAE. <laughs> get them used to the UAE. Yeah. Well, because it's, it's a really big move. Yeah, it know? is. And, and Fun, actually, we're, we're, <laughs> yeah. we try and be really careful about yeah. that process. Yeah. Because it, it is important that people understand that yeah. they're coming into um, a completely new culture. Yes. And there's some oh significant God. differences yeah. And um, having said that, the, the lifestyle. Beautiful. <laughs> I was here a week before I decided to stay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, that's the six month goal. Mm. 
and also to make sure the new students who are joining us, because we're only two years in. Yeah. So um, still so new, and obviously so you've had still, coronavirus in the middle of yeah, that. Yeah. So God, you opened, and then it happened, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. So we're yeah we've mm. got through that. No yeah. problems. <laughs> no, you've just um, got through that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, we've got new students arriving. And actually, our first students go into their third year, so wow. we're kind of we're still we still haven't got to a graduation yet. Yeah. Um, long term, five year vision is mm. to have an academy which has got a kind of uh, a wide portfolio of programs. Yeah. So maybe even adding in music. Yeah. Um, and certainly adding in uh, postgraduate yeah. study for directors, choreographers, wow. lighting designers, yeah. designers. And so on. Amazing. So all yeah. so all the creative team roles, really. Yeah. Um, so that's next step. Yeah. You know, and that will. Um, Amazing. That, I think that will take us, given given the way that the UAE works, yeah. that will take us a few years. Yeah. As so, it, what advice would you give to someone who's looking to get into the performing arts industry? Um, I think you wrote break into. Did uh, I? Yeah. On your question, I did you break did. into the industry. Right. I've changed it up. I'm gonna okay because <laughs> I like that. I like that because I was gonna say, yeah, don't break into the industry. Yeah, train, work really oh hard. Yeah, focus, and then the doors will open for yeah. you. Stay true, you and know. the rest will follow. Absolutely, yeah. but also absolutely the yeah. you know you don't get anywhere in this world without practice mm. and hard work yeah and kind of and motivation and that kind of yeah, you know we were talking about it earlier yeah. that that single-mindedness yeah. to do something um and, and then practice 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 yes yeah. repeat you know and some repeat repeat yeah absolutely do it again do it again do it again do you know, um, I, I feel like especially with dance because obviously that's kind yeah. of my main profession yeah. from the past is practice repeat making failures learning absolutely is the only way to learn of course you have to make mistakes of course so you know so many people beat themselves up when they yeah. make mistakes and say no you just learn what you shouldn't do it's but the only thing in the world you I know, have to make mistakes unfortunately the education system doesn't allow people to make mistakes so that's yes. why again in the first year first and second year yeah. in um in our programs yeah there's no exams or mm. assessment none at all no, nope. it's purely all, there for you to make mistakes. It's all formative correct. assessment, yeah. which is based on feedback, nice. students having individual learning yeah. plans, students progressing at their own rate. Yeah, you know, because we all learn at different rates. Yeah. We all kind of acquire you. You, mm. you, know, you you'll pick up a dance step quicker than I will. <laughs> Uh, used to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's oh, yeah, but if you give me lines to learn, it yeah. will take me forever. There you go. I'm so bad at remembering names, lines, everything. Yeah. But give me an hour's personal choreography and I'll remember everything. Yeah. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they got going. So, um, breaking into the yeah. industry, practice, practice, practice. Doors will open. Yeah. You know, you have mm. to have that kind of, you have to arrive at a place where you've got the confidence the train, train, train. to be able to. Mm walk in the door yeah. without breaking it down mm. because if you if if you start to break into this industry yeah. you'll be banging your head against a brick wall yeah okay the talent shows are mm. fake <laughs> really yeah <laughs> the talent shows are fake all so many of those start. shows yeah. that, that people do and you yeah. can go oh they're so amazing they're amazing because they've been training for 10 years yeah exactly and then the producer as well. Yeah, <laughs> has exactly. probably had a hand knows in a lot of it. Yeah. Cut things, yeah. yeah, knows how to make it look like that person's yeah. going to win. Yeah. And you know, I've I've heard stories. I won't mention names or shows, but I've heard stories where they know they've won before anyone else knows they've won. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you know, know don't that. don't always don't always believe what you see on TV. No, just, I think just, that's just really important. Please yeah, don't. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> so, how have you found? Obviously, the the Mena region is very different to the Western world. Yeah. How have you found that kind of overcoming, I'm trying to use my words really carefully, you'll probably get there quicker than me because <laughs> you've been here longer. But obviously they come to do performing arts. There's, in performing arts there's no holes barred, you know, from doing a musical like Hair where there's nudity, you know, over to Chicago, which is really sexy. Um, and just having that kind of mindset of just being raw. How have you found that with the kind of Mina? Is it Mena or Mina? 
Um, I say Mena, but it's probably, it's probably Mena. And I say from yeah. the Mena region, because yes. you know they, people who have lived and grown up in these areas have not had the same upbringing as someone like us from England. No. So how have you overcome that okay. for the people at Charge for me out? You didn't know this question was coming, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. a good one, though. Um, I th for me, the, the performing arts mm. and creating productions and uh, creating theatre yeah. or television or film, for that yeah. matter, is all about solving problems. Yes. Uh, and uh, so I did, you know, w w problems presented about mm. How do you say, for example, well, actually recently mm. we've had to get around the fact that people can't stand closer than two metres apart. Yeah. Uh, and they're wearing masks. Yeah. And we've had to kind of work yeah. with that. Yeah. So you do, you work with it. Yeah. Um, culturally, there are, um, there are certain things that I wouldn't do here. Yeah. Um, but I think also artists are slightly rebellious. Yes. So we will be. <laughs> no, not are they? Yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So, so there's some boundary pushing yeah. to be done, because it, it, in in my view, okay. you know, if we're involved in the arts, we're also involved yeah. in kind of just shining a light upon the world yeah. and and hopefully uh, allowing people to have some kind yeah. of experience where they go away and they think about some of the ideas right. that are presented. Yeah. Uh, uh, and sometimes, sometimes the arts will offend. Yeah, and that's kind of um, the point, isn't it, in well, some cases? Not always, obviously, I'm, but... I'm not sure that it's always necessary. No. I think there are ways of, of um, having the dialogue yeah. without, without offending people. Yeah. Having said that, somebody is always going to be offended. I literally was about to say those yeah. exact words because, and the art is designed uh, you, you to create emotion. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't yeah. win on that score. No. But it's about um, just careful negotiation, yeah. and it's also about talking to people so you understand the reasons behind yes. the culture. Well, they, they, I always got told that if you're not offending anyone, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I always okay. got told. Yeah. That someone yeah. needs to be offended to know that you're doing yeah. something right. Because <laughs> okay. then they're actually watching you. They're actually looking at what you're doing rather than just turning off or zoning out. Yeah. yeah. So, this one's more kind of about you. Um, what would you say is, be, is the most challenging moment in your life? It can be personal, <laughs> it can be work okay. related, I'm and just how did you overcome it? Right. Um, I'm just going to tell you about. Uh, kind of not a scary mo uh, I suppose a scary moment okay yeah okay so we're doing a production of Sweeney Todd the musical <laughs> right I don't know why I'm laughing already but go on <laughs> uh, and we'd rehearsed it and yeah. kind of did, you know, everything going really well and we built this most amazing set yeah with the barber's chair mm. um, where if Sweeney pressed a, a, a button the chair would turn into a slide. Yes. So instead of tipping back, because yeah. we kind of felt like that was risky. <laughs> well, it wasn't. It, it was sort of risky, but you know, we could have yeah. done it. But we wanted this kind of so that so instead of being a chair, it would just go into flat, slide. like yeah. a like a door, like an escalator. And then there would be <laughs> then there would be this yeah. tube. Okay. The trap door would open. Yeah. And then the actor would slide down this tube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and and then go off, st and the tube would kind of curve around, and go off stage. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we created this kind of slide. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, it kind of worked, <laughs> but but it was so fast, right? Ooh, yeah. That what was happening is that the actors were actually bashing their hips. Yeah. As they were going down the slide. So we had we had actors kind of bruised hips and yeah. kind of massive great welts on their <laughs> thighs. Go yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, and and this was during the tech rehearsal yeah. because the chair hadn't been ready right. to, to have in rehearsal rehearsals. With, yeah. So we only had it in the tech rehearsal. So we were padding the actors right. because we didn't have chart we didn't have, have time, time to, to kind it. of fix it yeah. or anything. Um, and we got to 25 past seven, and going up at 7.30 with the audience, 
waiting in the yeah. actual auditorium and we hadn't opened a house yeah and we only just finished the tech <laughs> right guys no break with Let's no go. kind of with no idea yeah. whether this chair was going to kind of break somebody's yeah. legs or hips or whatever wow and the actors being so brave yeah about you know i, th I think actually <laughs> yeah. they could they kind of could have turned around and said actually we're not doing this no they could have done you know? yeah but they all did and luckily it worked but Thank wow God. yeah that was the scariest that was one of the scariest moments amazing <laughs> um, i was gonna say I, I don't know what i would do would i would i carry i probably would I think my worst was I was on stage dancing. It was an hour and a half show. I broke my foot about 30 minutes in. Oh no. And, you, and you I knew I on? hurt it. I didn't know what I'd done. Yeah. And I just kept dancing on the pain and got through. The adrenaline got oh me through. Oh my gosh. Came off stage and my foot was four times the size. Like, it was silly. Like, I should have got off stage and let the swing come on. But yeah, I just kept going. I'm, like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not no. going off stage. I think it was a, it was a one time show, so it wasn't like a. a six month contract because I think I would have gone I'm off players <laughs> <Late leave. laughs> yeah. um, I've done the show five months in a yeah. row anyway but it was like a one night show so I was like, I'm not missing this you know that was an opportunity so I think that's the worst I've done when it comes to being on stage crazy so there have been a lot of hairy moments yeah so what would you say is your biggest attribute that's helped you get to the level that you're at and why do you think it's so important um Being open, I think. Being okay. generous um, where possible. Um, being determined. Yeah. Actually, having a kind of, um, and I think, I think. Well, I like to think mm. uh, that I have good vision of how things can be. Okay. And that's probably the director in you, right, coming out. I, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I think that's. You know, if you're a director, you need to be, you need to see the whole picture, mm. and you need to see how how you can bring together a whole load of dif different yeah. um, aspects of something, and kind of create yeah. something that, agree more. that works effectively yeah. with all of those disparate kind of yeah. uh, components. Yeah. Well, this is kind of the point in the podcast where I give you a chance to talk about three topics. But I'm looking at them and I'm thinking we've well, covered a lot of them. We've done them. So let me, let me see if there's yeah. anything you want to add to each of these topics. The first one was the art of acting. Um, just to say that the, the people, people think acting's easy. Mm. You know, people probably think that actually, um, you know, to be a dancer, to, yeah. be, a, to be a musician, yeah. you have to... You have to learn, but to be an actor, all you have to do is is be able to speak. Right. Yeah. Absolutely not true. Yeah. Because, actually, if that were the case, then we wouldn't pay right Hollywood movie stars the kind of money that we pay them yeah. to create for you, for you the audience the yeah. illusion of reality yeah. on screen. Because when you watch something, you don't want to be thinking this isn't real. You don't want to be thinking this isn't, um, yeah. you know, I can't, I can't lose myself in the in the action, in the immersiveness of in it. The, yeah. yeah, you want to be watching that, going, this person is going through that experience, and that takes mm. huge amounts of skill. Oh my god! Uh, um, and in some ways, for me, the training of actors. This is why the training of actors mm. is really important. Yeah. Is that you wouldn't let a musician, um, you, sorry, you wouldn't let somebody who can't play a musical instrument yeah. into an orchestra. No. So why would you let somebody who's never learned how mm. to act walk onto a stage? Yeah. Couldn't agree more. So there you go. That's yeah. the, on the art of acting. And the second yeah. one was training to be a professional performer. You must. <laughs> I mean, You've got to train. You know, train, 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 yeah. train, train. Yeah, exactly. It goes back to yeah. that. Goes back to opening doors in the industry. Yeah. If you want to be a professional, you have to be like an Olympic athlete. You yeah. can't. You, you know, you can't be. Um, oh, this is a hobby. No, it's a lifestyle. It's it's mm. absolutely a kind of. A, 
some people have said to me that the word vocation is kind of a, a bad word, but okay. it is a vocation. Yeah. It's, it's a way of life. It's not, for everybody who's involved in this yeah. industry, it's not, it's not a nine to five job. No, you know, it's you know, a wake up to sleep job. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's it's not working to live; mm. it's living to work. Yeah, you know, it's that that way round. Yeah, it's funny because there's there's a question I wasn't going to ask you, but I, I'm going to kind of put it in now. Is at the end we do a funny lightning round, and it's always work hard or play hard, and you yeah. have to pick one. <laughs> and I remember when I first got asked it, I said play hard, and they went really because you've just been talking about how hard you work. I said my work is play. Yeah, I love what I do, and I play constantly. Well, <laughs> so yeah, you get to play and love life, and you know, and a living from it. It's the same thing, mm. and I think that's again for me mm. the kind of we are we are so privileged. Yes, actually, because of that. Yeah, because there are so many people in this world mm. who have to work in order to live. Yeah, uh, and so I I think that we you know for me that's a kind of humbling yeah. thing. That's something where mm. uh, I say, throughout my life, I have been so lucky yeah. to do the things I want to do, to do yeah. and be able to earn a living from it. Yeah. So not Great. many people can say that. Yeah. On the last subject, <laughs> directing for theatre. Ah, oh, that's such fun because I want to go back to that problem yeah. solving. Yeah. And. Uh, and it's my, it's my favourite activity, and I don't get to do enough yeah. of it. Um, oh, it's decent. yeah. Well, we've got to. We've got to collaborate on that. Yeah. Um, it's. Uh, I think you need to. Uh, this is going to sound. There's some great directors out there who've never been actors. Yeah. But for me, the, the, important learning experience mm. for me was being an actor. Yeah. Before I became a director. Yeah. I get that. I, I would agree that being a dancer before I became a choreographer was hugely important. Yeah. And I wouldn't have got where I got to without doing it. But again, like you said, I know a million choreographers that are incredible that have come out of college going, I just want to be a choreographer. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. And that's, I just want to create. I so don't want to be in front of the camera. I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. But so different people's journeys, you know. That's, yeah, exactly. That's exciting. That's kind of where I was going to go with that. Yeah. So kind of coming back to Charger Performing Arts a little bit. Yeah. Because we're going to promote it now. What are you guys doing different to, shall we say, like the schools in the UK? What are you doing okay. extra? What are you not doing that you feel like maybe that's not working anymore? Because obviously times have changed a lot in the last 10 years with the birth of social media, internet and so on. There are a lot of things that I have my opinions and I've expressed them on this podcast many a times about the educational system in the UK when it comes to dancers specifically. And there's things I think need to go and there's things I think need to be brought in. Yeah. At Charger Performing Arts, what, what is it you're looking to do differently? Well, the first thing that we're doing differently is that fundamentals year. Yes. Is that kind of, yeah. is that idea of collaboration, yeah. of um, bringing people together who perhaps mm. have different skill sets and mm. saying, you know, for the moment, let's learn something. Let's, let's discover what works, what doesn't yeah. by all working together mm. and by all going through the same experience. Yes. The second thing is that um, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the, the drama schools in the UK are, um, are oil tankers. Okay. They take a lot of um, turning round. Yeah. But because we've been able to start from the beginning, from we can scratch. from scratch. Yeah. We've created programs that address what's needed yeah. today. Yeah. And that's why we'll be doing quite a lot of work for the actors, for example, yeah. on motion capture, yeah. on um, working green screen, mm. on, on getting those recorded yeah. media skills that yeah. they're going to need for a future of working. Which you have in the building. As, yeah, which you we've got a, in the building. You have a green We've got a green screen. screen. Cove. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's nuts. We've got black magic cameras. We Three. can do. You know, well, yeah. <laughs> I, not, I was geeking out be, a little bit. <laughs> not to be greedy. Yeah, and you have a yeah. Da Vinci Resolve <laughs> editing yes. center. Yes. Yeah, we've got the, absolutely. The proper one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just like, so ah. you go. <laughs> yeah. So we've, we've got the technology yeah. to be able to do that, yeah. that work. Um, and, and I want to give. And the other thing that I will. The, the, that I think is really important is that the the drama schools in the UK are feeding an already existing um, industry. Yeah, uh, and there's a certain amount of pressure on them 
yeah. to turn out people who will go into the West End shows or will work on television mm. or will um, do the number one tours or yeah, those yeah. kind of, you know, and that's yeah. how they measure their success. Yes. Mm. And, if, and, and we love it, you know, yeah. when somebody does really well and gets an Olivier yeah. Award, as I said, or... It's a rate on social. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And he's like, yeah, he's one of our graduates. Yeah. And, you know, we, we taught that person all those skills. <laughs> I you know. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but there isn't anything like that here. No. And the, and the industry here in this region mm. is, is new. So the students have to be entrepreneurs. They've got to create it. They have to be yeah. able to not just How exciting. be one thing. Yeah. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When you say and to so me, like, there's, there's nothing here like that, I oh, can I be that person to create that? Most of the events companies, where do they get their performers from? Yeah. They, they all come from outside the region. Yeah, at the moment. At the moment. We want to change that. Of course we will. Yeah. And we will change that. <laughs> we will, yeah. don't worry. All over that. We're yeah. definitely going to go. Oh, I had a really good question. It's completely slipped my mind. No, I wanted to say something. Is one of the things I was very impressed about, Sharjah Paul Mears, is you actually look after the mental health. Yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it's that. Phenomenally this is a big important. Thing for me. Yeah. It's just kind of, you know, and. I'm, can I, I'm, I might say something controversial here. Please do. Struggle. I love a bit of controversy. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, people, people who work in the professional performing arts, I think, are outliers. Yeah. They're people who perhaps don't see themselves as fitting in to normal life. I think mm -hmm. you can agree it, more. Yeah. You can't kind of call it muggles early yeah. on <laughs> to use muggles, a, a kind people, of you yeah, know, yeah. Harry Potter we term. We don't fit into the normal yeah. societal norms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, alongside that, you get a lot of people who are coming into the into um, the academy who need emotional uh, yeah. uh, support. They need yeah. they need to kind of take care of their own well-being, yes. to, to look after their the way um, to to look after how they are going to tackle some of the yeah. things that they're going to be asked to do yeah. in in the academy. Yeah. Uh, and so we, we have a kind of strong kind of well-being base. We've got mental health first aiders in the building. Yeah. We have um, counsellors. We also have kind of weekly sessions for the students which are um, based around mindfulness. Mm -hmm. More like life coaching. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and life coaching, problem solving, yeah. and so on. Um, and, and we also talk about, um, you know, you, you have to... It, it goes back to what I was saying about how people progress. Mm. People people progress at a kind of different yeah. at, at different rates, but also people's emotional states yeah. are different. Yeah. So we look after the students more than we teach yeah. subjects, which is perfect. And combine that with teaching entrepreneur skills. Yeah. Because the one thing I bang on about on this podcast is educational establishments are teaching dancers to dance. They're not teaching them to be dancers. Yes. Which in the industry. Unfortunately, the industry has gone in a way where your talent is a smaller percentage of what gets you the job. But, backing up what you were saying earlier is, you can get to 70% of the process based on having the right look, having the right brand, yeah. having enough followers. But if you don't have the talent at the end of that process to back it up, you will not get the job. If you don't have the yeah. skills. There you go. And you can only get skills if you learn them. Train. <laughs> yeah, train. Train, 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 train. train, train. train. Yes. Bang this up enough more. All right, let's make it a little bit more lighthearted now. So, two questions at the end is, who would play you in the movie of your life? <laughs> I'm excited to hear this one, I wanna know. Okay, um, uh, unfortunately, the person I'm gonna mention first <laughs> is, um, uh, uh, died about okay. seven, eight years ago. Yeah. James Gandolfini. Okay, I have no idea who that is. No idea who that is. <laughs> okay, he was the lead in The Sopranos, which oh, was a TV okay. series. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, so I think he would probably be a good fit. Okay. So you're going to have to look him up I now, am now. You? You're going to have to look, to, so I don't look, look up James Gandolfini. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, recently I was looking at a recent photo of Russell Crowe. Okay. And I think maybe he could play me. He could yeah, get away yeah, with yeah, it. He, he could, could get, get away with it, with it. yeah. And if you had one superpower, what would it be and why? Uh, um, I, I, I think I would really like to fly. It's something. Do you know? I'm, I'm fascinated by birds. No more plane fares. Yeah. <laughs> no. Absolutely. Yeah. No more plane fares. But uh, um, just 
Mm. I love the, idea the, the view yeah. from, an, from the airplane, from airplanes. Yeah. Have you done a jump out of the airplane yet of the farm? No, don't. Do you I, want to? I, I, I'll do it. I'm <laughs> too old. Okay. You'll be attached to someone, don't worry. You'll be between someone's legs yeah, while yeah. flying oh, through okay. the air. Lovely. God knows how many yeah. miles an hour. I, do, I think I'm going to do the zip, zip line at Jebel oh, Jace. I keep getting told about this. I really want to yeah. go. I will happily come do But this. I think I yeah. might have to lose a bit of weight before I, I do that. I don't worry about yeah. that. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> just chuck you down. I'll put a GoPro on your head. Yeah. Facing down. <laughs> we'll just go, ah! <laughs> oh, that would No, be but amazing. I mean, I think that would be, yeah, that would be my superpower. Yeah. And do you have a positive message, a mantra that you live by that you can give our audience? Um, so, like, mine was, uh, be true to yourself and the rest will follow. Or, okay. don't, don't get motivated, get driven. Which is kind of my, one of my themes. Yeah. Okay. Um, work hard and doors will open for you. There you go. Work hard and doors will open for you. So this is your last bit. If there's anything else you want to say, any promotion, how to get hold of Charge of Performing Arts, any students, how they can apply. Um, okay. Yeah. So first camera. First thing is go to the website. So um, spaa.ae. Very simple. Um, the next thing is, uh, if you want to make an application, there's an online application process for the undergraduate programs. If you're interested in the new dance um, diploma, mm. then you need to um, send an email to dance at spa.ae, and that's S P double A dot A E. I'll whack it all in the, yeah. the message below. Um, well. yeah. uh, and. Uh, and then we'll be able to send you information about auditions uh, for, yeah. for the dance diploma. Um, come and see us anytime you like. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a worthwhile journey. Uh, yeah, the uh, just to see the building. Just to have yeah. a look around and, see, um, uh, and come and see the work we do. Yeah. Uh, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming on. So, one, thank you for coming on. <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, pleasure to talk to you. I think this has been the longest one, so we've been chatting for a long time. I didn't realise. Oh my goodness. It's been yeah. great though, I didn't even <laughs> notice the time go. Um, and guys, if you're watching this, then please come and join us if you're in Dubai at the Sigma Medinat. Every Thursday at 5.30 we'll have a completely different guest every week. And you can have a drink, they've got an alcohol licence now, so come and have a beer. Uh, or come grab some food, have some shisha and enjoy the show where we'll be on the screen. And if you are watching this in post, then we are going to be live on Facebook every single week now through the Street Diversions Facebook page. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Thanks, bye.